shocking elder abuse. Pain patches ripped right from patients' bodies. They would rifle underneath the victim's clothing and then tear the patch off of the patient and leave. And the horrible way they chose their victims makes the crime even more despicable. A Spokane couple was arrested this morning, suspected of stealing drugs from elderly patients by ripping medication patches off their bodies. The thefts targeted seniors in local nursing homes who were too sick to communicate they had been victimized. In a story you saw first on KXLY4, our Jeff Humphrey live on West Mission Avenue where police searched the suspect's home this morning. Jeff. And inside this home, detectives also found a small marijuana grow operation. It appears that both of the suspects are addicted to heroin because the drug they were allegedly stealing from these elderly patients mimics the effects of opium. Unfortunately, the patients who truly needed the medication weren't getting it. Spokane police say at least five elderly patients were stripped of their pain patches here at the Manor Care and St. Joseph's Nursing Homes. Despite a criminal background check, Lacey Cell was able to get jobs as a nurse's assistant at both facilities and allegedly stole fentanyl from the seniors as they lay in their beds. What witnesses have told me, it appears that they would rifle underneath the victim's clothing in an attempt to locate the patch. Uh, both front and back and then tear the patch off of the patient and leave. Manor care officials fired Cell as soon as they learned of the problem, so detectives say Cell taught her boyfriend, Corey Morse, how to pose as a patient's visitor and the pain patch thefts continued. It appears that she took notes and passed along her information on which patients were the most uh, cognitively impaired and could not communicate and also had the largest patches of fentanyl on their person and told him to go in, act like a visitor, and grab those patches. Meanwhile, Cell was able to get a new job here at St. Joseph's by asking that her previous employer not be contacted for references. But the disappearing patches caught the attention of nurses who fired Cell and changed the way the patches were distributed. They doubled up on... Uh, the nursing assistants checking the patches before uh, they got off shift and when they first came on shift, as well as periodically during the shift itself. The staff at St. Joseph's spotted young Mr. Morse leaving their facility in a taxi cab. The nurses there actually tracked down that fare and traced it the, the, this address right here. The information was turned over to police. Detectives think there are more victims out there and want to know if Morse or Cell have been seen visiting other nursing homes recently. Reporting live in northwest Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.